Hello, it's Burgess Taylor from Journey with Burgess and I am going to give you a flip through of the prototype from Documented Journey with Tomaway River paper in it. I have been using it um, as my journal and I thought I'd share with you the pages thus far because I've been practicing um, just trying, I've been trying out all kinds of different things in it so I thought you might want to see what what I've got and how it's going. So this is the card that Bree sent me uh, when I ordered the custom made journal with my face on it. She did such a great job. I got this as a prototype to test out and I swatched watercolors in it. I added a little pocket to the back. She has her little logo right here which is so cute. So I did a plain air sketching that when I first got it, I wrote about my word for the year, and then you're going to see the pages, and I'm going to show music. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to show you the pages, and then there will be music, and you can see what all I've done with the journal, um, and and the different ways that I've been using. I've been trying out all different kinds of things to see how it would hold up. So as you can see, I've tried adding little bits of clip art, uh, that's cardstock. This came from a postcard from Goulet Pens. Um, this is post-it note paper. This is from the Hobonichi thing, that's a full moon sticker and some watercolor. I have a lot of watercolor drawings in here. I have been writing. Uh, there are spots though where...
watercolor when you go really dark it does bleed a little because it is Tomoe River paper it is 52 GSM so I went really dark right here and <laughs> it bled through onto the other side um, but that's okay it doesn't happen very often and for whatever reason this looks purple but it's brown and this is brown but it looks purple um, And I went pretty dark here, but I think it depends on the colors and my pen is crooked, but that's okay. It's turned out really well. Like I said, probably just going to put some watercolor here. Um, back here. I had a couple pages kind of stick together. Uh, it was probably it was right here, and I'm pretty sure that that was because one of these. This. Actually, is the only issue that I've had is, as you can see, I had to pick up the watercolor. It kind of went in the grooves where um, you can see right here because this is her paper, that vellum paper. But you can see where in there. Um, but I don't, I just was really quick about it and I don't have any problems with it. Um, she's worked out a few of the, she's worked out, <laughs> um, the, the one issue and it's a, I love these journals y'all. I really do love these journals. I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to make myself a pencil board with really dark lines or grid on it uh, to put underneath my paper for when I'm writing because I have a hard time keeping my 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 writing straight otherwise I have to use a ruler or something so yeah it's turning out I really love it and I love this I love I love this now I'm excited I can't when I got to this page I was all excited so now it's going to be a little bit before I get to the next page because the next page of this is right here and isn't that beautiful and I'm thinking this might be just in time for February um, might be because I have quite a bit of paper right here so we'll see I'm excited thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the flip through I will have a Hobonichi update for y'all um, I'm going to do a, another planning video, and it's probably going to be a chatty video, so be prepared. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye.